1,400 years would go by, Nicholas Copernicus, 1543, on his deathbed, would propose the heliocentric model of the universe. He wasn't content with what Ptolemy had to, the hoops Ptolemy had to jump through to account for what we saw. How else do you get planets to go forward and backwards and forward and backwards? Ptolemy had systems of, of multiple orbits on top of orbits called epicycles. Things orbiting nothing in space. In fact, the word orbit wasn't even quite defined back then. This was just movements. And, and Copernicus said there might be an easier way. Let's put the sun in the middle of the known universe. And if you do that, Earth becomes one of the planets. That's heretical. Copernicus waited to his deathbed before he published this, knowing the kind of retribution that would be exacted upon him in that period of Europe, the mid-16th century, did not take kindly.